one and a half miles. That's a 12 furlong for Trip. Holmbury, the one nearest to us, smartly into his stride. And Holmbury disputing the early running in the early stages from Gordon in second place. Then just in behind these comes Nar and up on the outside, Sloopy going very well on the very wide outside with Naorian. And it's Sloopy on the extreme left of the picture who leads the overall field from Naorian. Walk on up there, Toynoso not too far away. And as they continue their uphill journey, very, very closely grouped indeed, with Sloopy now being headed by Naorian. And it's Naorian in the lead from Sloopy in second place. Then just in behind these comes Nar. Then Lester Pickett on Tinoso in a prominent position. The back marker is low, Mondam by a little way. But it's now Mitalini that has come through to take up the running. Go to the hill on the far side. And it's Mitalini, Sloopy on the outside. Then just in with these comes Tinoso going very well. Behind these, Naorian, then Guns of Navarone. Holmbury, Lomond is the back marker. Yarwar is towards the rear, so too is Zofany. And as they continue their uphill climb to the point seven furlongs from home, it's Mitalini in the lead from Lester Pickett on Tinoso in second place. Then Sloopy on the outside of Gordian. Then just in behind these comes Carlingford Castle. And it's Mitalini in the lead from Tinoso. No, so in second place. Then just in behind these comes Tivian, who's made up ground. Then comes on the outside Naorian. They begin the descent to Tattenham Corner. Mitalini from Tivian, Tinoso. Then Zoffany next to the rails. Carling for Castle on the outside. The American horse Sloopy is on the middle division. Wattle is trying to come with a run. And as they begin the turn into the home straight, come down to Tattenham Corner. It's Tivian and Mitalini who disputed from Tinoso in second place. Then just in behind these comes Gordian. And there's a faller at the rear of the field. A faller at the rear of the field. And it's difficult to distinguish who it is at this stage. Mitalini in the lead from Tivian in second place. Then comes Tino So in third. These are followed by Naorian in fourth, turning into the home straight. And it's Sam and Leaf who's improving just in behind these. And it's Mitalini from Tino So. Lester Pickett on Tino So. Committed and goes for home. And it's Tino So and Lester Pickett with two and a half furlongs to go. Tino So in the lead from Mitalini in second place. Then comes Naoria, Guns of Navarone is staying on. Then comes Sam and Leaf, but Lester Pickett with two and a half furlongs to go. It's clear on Tino So. Two furlongs to go. And Tino So clear from Guns of Navarone second. Carlin for Carson is third. Then comes Sam and Leaf up and beaten, but in fourth place. Then Sheer Walker furlong and a half to go. And Lester Pickett in the lead. Colin for Carson is chasing in second place. It went inside the final half furlong. Lester Pickett coming home on his ninth derby winner, Tino So, from Carlin for Castle in second place. Coming up toward the line, Tino So is going to win it from Carlin for Castle. Tino So the winner, Carlin for Castle second. A photo for third between Sheer Walk and Sam and Leaf, then Guns of Neverone and Nar, then Pluralism and Morcon and Ptolemeo and Gordian, then the Noble Player and Mitalini, then Naorian and Wassel, and the faller was Yawa, towards the rear was Lomond, last of all was Homebury, in fact last but trailing in and disappointed is Zoffany. And so the result of this, the 204th derby, a win for number 25, Tinoso, owned by Mr. Eric Muller, trained at Newmarket by Geoffrey Ragg, ridden by Lester Pickett. That's Lester Pickett's ninth derby winner. Second was number three, Carlingford Castle, ridden by Michael Kinane. And a photograph for third place between Sheer Walk and Salmon Leap.